story behind this. In 1987, I got one of these for Christmas. And uh, unfortunately, uh, another driver ran it into the wall in the house. He broke off the left front wheel. It is now 2020, and I have acquired another one. Well, two of them, actually. Um, the original tray is all jacked up. Well, it wasn't really jacked up, but I'm not putting eight batteries in there and cleaning it out. So this is on 3S LiPo. It is in low gear as of right now. I am driving with the stick remote with one hand, so bear with me. It's easier with a pistol grip. We are, that is flat out right there. There is a look. Uh-oh, what was that? Sound like it slipped out of gear. Luckily I got another parts car in there, but let's see what's up. Huh, jumped out of gear. Somebody had mentioned before to uh, do something about locking those gears. Oh yeah, it sounds good still. So I'm going to stop thundering it off the line and just kind of ease into it. And try not to snap it back into reverse, but this particular one could be the remote. Has a couple of issues with the left. Alright, so we're going to give it another full blast back this way. So right now what I'm waiting on, for one, I need a butane torch so I can take the gears off of, uh, well, take the pinion off of this original motor. I already have the high speed motor inside. So that's one of the things I'm waiting on. And uh, I'll probably still keep the stock electronics until the board burns up. But I'm waiting on the ESC as well that'll be able to handle the 3S battery pack that's in here. This is just how I have it in here. And I really need to go and find my uh, my lipo tester so I can keep up with the voltage on these things. You don't want it to drop too low. But yeah, that's how she that's how she does. She scoops pretty decently for something so small. I think it'll uh, run right with the WL toys and all of that. So, hope you enjoyed it.